Hey guys, what's up? It's Baseball Life here, and I'm gonna do a uh, comparison video on two different, but not that different, infield baseball gloves. So, we'll talk about the differences first, and then I'm gonna go over the similarities, and then after that, it will be which one, in my opinion, is better. Now you guys might be saying, this isn't a fair comparison, they're different brands, different lengths, I don't care. That's kind of the part of the thing, that's the thing, okay? They are different brands and they are different lengths. They have different pockets, but that doesn't really matter. It's just what looks cool to you, okay? A pocket is a pocket, okay? First of all, lengths. Doesn't matter. Easton has the same leather... It, this has on it is on Easton's 12 quarter, 12, you get what I mean. Okay, so, on that note, let's go over some differences. So, the differences will be color, this one, if you're not colorblind, uh, you can see this one's black, and this one is a like light brown color so those are the colors uh, with the wrist this is just a fixed wrist there's two little holes that you can adjust it with but other than that it's fixed this is your velcro wrist it's got velcro um, yeah and then major difference two different brands see Mizuno Easton Mizuno Easton. Got it? Got it. Alright, next of all, we're going to talk about how it comes out of the packaging. When you first get this, it is not oil, or it's not double oil. Uh, so it's like stiff, very stiff. This is not new, by the way. But this one. Don't know if that picks that up, but that stamp right there says it is double oiled. So it comes out of the package with like a uh, this. So you can catch a ball, but it's a little harder. Or it's like not fully broken in. Alright, so now we're going to go with another difference, which is going to be the web. Yes, you can see the web trape modified trapeze. One piece web, okay? So, finally, three minutes in the video, we get to the similarities. Whew, that's hard. So, first of all, these two both have an open hand thing. So, if I put my hand in there, you see all my hand. Same with this, you know, open hand. Uh, then also, it would be that there aren't that many similarities, actually. Um, yeah, not really that many similarities. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Completely it. That's the only similarity. Yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. Oh, going back to differences because I just saw something. This has a finger pad, this doesn't. Also, this used to make a comp. Uh, comp stands for composite in this case, meaning that this is not all real leather. Some of it is, some of it's uh, sheepskin or felt. Felt is stuff in the glove. Okay? Um, but basically, there's some one material here, one material here, one material here. I believe that this is the kit. Actually, I'm not sure about that. But I think that the inside is kit because it's a leatherish material. And um, you can see it's kit. That's, that's weird. But if you uh, take it apart, 
Easton has a spot on their page where you can see in a video, you pause it at the right time, you can see what it's all made of. Okay? So, on that side note, last difference, and then we move on to which is better. This is double welting, double welting, see? This is single welting. My personal preference is going to come down to something I did not say. You ready for it? You ready for it? This is my personal preference. Yes, these are both broken in. Okay, look. That one's broken in. Along with this one. Didn't play the pinky. Or, yeah, thumb. This right here is not... Like, it's a squishy inside. And I do not like that. This is like a leather inside. And it's not squishy. It's a hard leather. Not as much padding. That's how it comes down. Um, so I would choose this over this. The $40 glove versus the $90 glove? Huh. Well, that just shows you the quality of a glove. How it can make a difference. Because Easton can put all this fancy stuff, all the kip. They can say they have all the best composite materials. They can do double welting. But it's not going to beat the craftsmanship and the purity of the genuine leather and all the technology Mizuno has been able to acquire throughout the years. And that is a beautiful thing. So, um, once again, going with this glove. It's my baby. Um, watch the updated short stop gear and yeah that will also show you that that one's better but this is new so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you next week